Welcome back to my channel, Smoking and Grilling, and today we cooking with me, A.B. Now truly, this video right here, listen, it needs no introduction. You know what? I'm getting ready to show you guys how I make, just you're talking about something delicious. I'm bringing to you guys, check it out right there. Shrimp and grits. You cannot beat this right here. You're talking about something that plays good. You know what I mean? The presentation is outstanding. And listen, the, the, uh, the, the flavor, listen, the flavor profile on this is just like super incredible. I just gotta tell you this, listen, you got cheese, bacon. Hey, did I say cheese? Mm, you're talking about something that, hey, I don't even wanna spoil it, cause listen, there's a whole bunch of la layers of this, uh, this recipe right here, all the way down to the onions, you know, the green onions, everything plays a part in this right here. So listen, if you wanna put something out that'll just wow everybody, hey, you know what, better yet, I'm always talking about wow on somebody. Hey, if you want something that's gonna just like be explosive to yourself, you know what I mean? You, after you taste this, you're gonna just run out. Hey, somebody please taste this. Check this out, I made it. Hey, with that being said, I don't wanna over talk it. Let's get right into this video. Okay, what you see right here is, listen, I started out by just cutting my green onions. You know, of course, I cut off the uh, the roots on the end and then I wanna chop them. I only use this as an example so you guys can see, you know, just about the size. And also, I put the white part of the green onion inside of there also. And then the next thing you know what I used, I used uh, fresh parsley. If you ask me, my opinion is, you know, I'm sure everybody agrees with this, you know, fresh is just always better. So just fresh parsley. I made a lot of it because I like to use it for garnish. And listen, it brings an amazing taste to it. Now here you can just see me, you know what, I use this as an example also just to show you, you know, how far I went as far as uh, cooking my bacon. You know, I didn't want to cook it all the way. I still wanted to be, you know, I'm thinking about, you know, the thumbnail and I'm thinking about, you know, it can be just a little bit crisp and just a little bit soft. Now look, and okay, you get your pot, you wanna go ahead and pour your chicken broth inside of your uh, pot, and then you wanna bring it to a boil. Once you have it boiling, you don't want it to boil too long because you can evaporate, you know, some of your chicken broth will evaporate. So now you just wanna get your, uh, you know, get your one cup of uncooked grits, and go ahead and put it, you know, put it in, and then listen, you wanna continuously stir them so they don't get too thick on you, you know what I mean? So then go ahead, after you finish stirring them, go ahead and put the top on there, and then you wanna let them simmer. I adjusted my heat. Now it's up to you, you know, as far as the texture and how thick you would like for it to be, you can always add some more chicken broth to it. Here you can see that I'm adding some uh, uh, butter. Those were uh, three tablespoons of uh, butter, you know, salt and pepper. You know what I mean? And then listen, while it's hot, you wanna just keep stirring it. You know what I mean? And again, you're looking for the texture that you would like to eat your grits in. I like mine a little thick. And now for the good part. I went ahead and added maybe about a cup of the uh, shredded cheese inside of the uh, grits. You know what I mean? You just wanna like stir it around, let the heat, you know, melt it, let it, you know, thicken up. You can see the color right there, kinda like starting to change. And then after that, right there. Okay, so look, what you're seeing right there is, listen, I'm just checking the, the texture. I like that. And then I went ahead and dumped the rest of the cheese in there. And that was two cups of uh, cheese. Once you got everything, you know, mixed, your butter, salt and pepper, cheese, and your grits, and everything is just right, go ahead and cover them, set those to the side, go ahead and get the pan that we made our bacon in, and we're going to use that same bacon grease, you know what I mean, that delicious flavor, and that's what we're going to fry our, uh, our shrimp in. Now remember, it doesn't take long for your shrimp to come out right. We want to use a medium high heat, you know, so right here I'm sprinkling, you know, Tony's on there, that Creole seasoning. You know, it's up to you whatever type of seasoning you'd like to use, but I just chose to use Tony's. That was awesome. And then right here, you can see I'm using the uh, minced garlic. And listen, again, it doesn't take long. So what you want to do is, you know what I'm saying, look about two to three minutes on medium high heat. So as you're putting in the rest of your ingredients, as you see right there, you know, once I get them in there, and then we're gonna start to flip them over, and then we're gonna go back over the top and then start putting a little bit more seasoning on the other side. And if you wanna know how, you can see, listen, if you wanna know how your uh, shrimp is cooking, if you look at the bottom of the shrimp, you can see where it starts to turn. Instead of, that being, instead of it being that raw pink, you know, pink looking color, 
what it does is it starts to turn white and as it gets all the way almost to the middle of it that's when i flip them over you do not want to overcook your shrimp because it can become uh, rubbery and just you know they, they're just too chewy but listen when they're done right this right here hands down if you guys know anything about me i can just tell you you can stick that, your hand out and just drop the mic look at this presentation right here this is what you're looking for it's seasoned just right cooked just right and that's it and right here now it's time to plate All right, you guys just seen it. You see how simple that was to make? And I promise you, just all of the different individual type of, uh, individual flavor profiles is in there. Listen, it's all tied together. If you ask me, my personal opinion would be, listen, that cheese, that's the binder that just makes it like super, super, you know, like delicious. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, video. If you'd like to see other videos like this, you know what I mean, or you have some uh, suggestions, just leave a comment down below. You know what I mean? Listen, I'll write them down and listen, they put them into the uh, into my book and listen, we're going to work them in. So listen, if you guys are on Instagram, listen, I'm following a hashtag. This hashtag was given to myself. It's called hashtag smoking grilling fam, which is S-M-O-K-I-N-G-R-I-L-L-I-N-F-A-M. You know what I mean? Uh, so listen. We gonna, I'm going to follow that one. So if you guys make this or any other uh, recipes that I make, you know what I mean? Just go ahead and post it up on uh, Instagram. And don't forget to use that hashtag. Again, that's smoke hashtag, smoking, grilling, fam. And then you know what? I get a chance to take a look at what you made. You know what I mean? Hey, get a chance to look at the, uh, the different uh, presentations and things of that nature. Hey, so with that being said, you guys, you know what? Thank you for watching this video, and I'm out.